Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. I think you all are really going to love today's video because today I will not only be doing a correction on this set here, but also a really fun unboxing. Melody Susie has sent me their new cordless third generation e-file and I cannot wait to test it out. The SR3 Jade is actually smaller than my iPhone and comes with everything you could possibly need. As soon as I opened the box, I was so surprised at how stylish it is. And these gold accents are so pretty. This e-file comes with a set of sanding bands, a small stand for the drill, a set of nail bits, and a plug for charging. And that's because the special thing about this nail drill is that it's cordless. This e-file is battery operated and can be easily charged. And I really liked this belt clip feature, as you can attach the e-file to your pants to save more space on the table. You can also attach on this element here where you can easily slide in the nail drill itself. This e-file is so compact and lightweight, making it a great choice for an on-the-go e-file. This e-file has a nice LED screen, a button to turn the nail drill onto reverse, and a knob for adjusting the speed. The SR3 Jade can go up to 30,000 RPMs and is 24 watts, which is more than enough to remove the prior product, whether it be hard or soft, and also great for working on heels. Another thing I noticed about working with this e-file is how quiet it is, and it almost doesn't even vibrate. Another plus is that the nail drill itself doesn't heat up at all. It has two holes for ventilation, and I can definitely say that it really works and keeps this nail drill nice and cool. So not only is this e-file super pretty, but it's also compact and incredibly comfortable to work with. Working with this nail drill, I can really tell that this nail drill is high quality. It works so smoothly and beautifully takes down the prior product. Also, even though I was using a bit with rough abrasion, my client didn't experience any discomfort at all. So in other words, there's practically no vibration. After removing the prior product, I'm continuing to our cleanup. For the cleanup, I'll be using my favorite flame bit with red abrasion, but before that, I'll need to push back the sticky and dry cuticle on her nail plate with an orange stick. And when working on the cuticle area, I have the RPM set from 22 to 25,000.
After I've worked on the left side, I'm switching the nail drill onto reverse and working on the right side of her nail. And once I've cleaned up the cuticle area, I'm carefully snipping off the cuticle with a pair of cuticle scissors. I also did a pedicure for my client today, no coating, just a cleanup. The convenience of this small, lightweight nail drill is amazing. Switching from doing her nails to her toenails was super easy. This nail drill does an incredible job, and I'm really so pleased with how well it worked, and will definitely be using it a lot more in the future. And I didn't have to charge it even once between the manicure to the pedicure. It worked flawlessly and powerful the whole day, so that is definitely a huge plus to this nail drill. You can work with it all day, charge it up overnight, and use it all day again the next. I really do recommend this nail trail. It really exceeded my expectations. So for anyone who's interested, I'm leaving a link in the description box below for Melody Susie's website along with a direct link to this amazing nail trail. And back to our nails and onto our design. I've dehydrated her nails, applied a non-acidic primer, and further I'm applying a thin layer of a base coat. After the base coat is cured, I'm applying this beautiful pinkish filter gel. The middle fingernail is chipped, so to restore this corner, I'll be using a clear poly gel and then further going over that entire nail in the same pinkish builder gel. Now to remove the stickiness and apply this fun gel polish. I really like this gel polish and the contrast of the pastel coral with the black speckles is so pretty.
And now, over the sticky layer of the Cured Gel Polish, I'm applying some beautiful gold leaf. And to soften the edges of the gold elements, I decided to add a polish in a similar tone and a gel polish in white. And we're finished. I had so much fun with this set today and I think they turned out so beautiful. If you liked today's video then please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and until next time.